Hey, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to overlay your logo on the SketchUp workspace using the watermark settings in the Styles window. So the first thing we need to do is open up the Styles window. So go to Window and Styles, and because the watermark is a style setting, you want to start from a style that you're typically going to use. Now this is going to be good for doing a client presentation or if you're exporting your model, various scenes from your model and you want that watermark to be displayed there. So pick whichever style you want to base your the, the exports off of. In this case I'm going to use the construction documentation style and once you've done that then you want to go to the edit tab and click on the watermark button here. These are all different buttons that show you the different settings, the different style settings. So you want this watermark button and we're going to click the plus sign to add a watermark. So now you're just going to navigate to the image that you want to watermark your SketchUp uh, workspace with. So I'm going to use this logo from my book. Uh, click open and and now you're going to get a few options so you can um, create a name I'm just gonna leave it as is you wanna make sure it's selected as an overlay because you want it in front of your model click next and this is up to you you can have you can blend the the image so you see uh, some of the model behind the image or you can select uh, basically this is an opacity slider so if you go if you if you slide that down you're gonna see less of the image so you can you can adjust I kinda like the look of having a little bit of um, lower the opacity to about 95 percent and we'll click next and instead of having it stretched to fit the screen we want it to be positioned so we'll click positioned so right now by default it starts out right in the center I'm gonna place it down in the lower right hand corner and then using the scale slider I'll scale it up to about right there and that's it so I'll click finish and now I have this watermark placed over my SketchUp model and no matter where I orbit the watermark is gonna stay right where it is now one thing to keep in mind you can see this image is cropped pretty tight so there's no space around the border so one thing you might want to do is when you're editing the image make sure you add some white space around the image in order to pad it away from the edges of the of the model's workspace. So once you've added the watermark, we've now customized this style. So you can see there's the update symbol. So we'll want to click this button here and that'll create a new scene for or I'm sorry, a new style for us. So I'll just go up here and rename this and click update. And if we go back to the select tab and go in model let me just purge we can see this um, this style here in the in model folder and if you'd like to learn how to save this style for fu for future use you should check out my other tutorial common sketchup style misconceptions i'll have a link to that in the description below or you can click the annotation on the screen so thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to get more sketchup tutorials